remove an air bubble from the uh, male's pouch in the seahorse. Now, what I'm going to be using is a syringe. Looks like this. Uh, this this syringe. You can get these type of syringes from uh, any local uh, staples. This type of syringe is actually used for refilling the ink and in ink cartridges. And that's what I'm going to be using to dislodge the bubble out of the, the pouch. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. This male here. This male here has that problem so what I'm what I'm gonna do is kinda like put my finger to curl around my itself around my it its tail let me just move this one out the way and uh Right where the entrance of the pouch is, I take the syringe and kind of like wiggle it back and forth a little bit. It kind of loosens it a little bit and like kind of opens it, like kind of playing with it. And you're able to insert, insert it inside. So you see, some of the bubbles came, came out. What I also do is kind of play with it and squeeze squeeze the bubbles out by squeezing the pouch the bubbles come right out the reason why I use this syringe this type of syringe is that after re releasing the air which I just did I use uh, this antibacterial medication from uh, Korean Pharmaceuticals to fill the, the pouch with it, with it, with it. So what I do is I make a, a, a mixture of it on a, uh, in a cup of that medication and then I, I put a little bit into the syringe about let's say about this much you could get the uh, it's best to get the air bubble out by tapping it and squeezing it upward then what I do is I go back into the seahorse's pouch and reinsert the the needle and then hold on one sec reinsert the needle and squeeze some of that into the pouch and inflate the pouch with the medication it'll look like the seahorse is pregnant as you can see and then I release them the reason why I like to use that is because of if I accidentally maybe punctured him inside for it to, pre to prevent the seahorse from getting uh, any kind of uh, bacterial infection it'll, it'll help it and if, it, it and if in fact that uh, the air bubble the air the air bubbles that is the air bubble that is getting is caused by uh, some kind of a bacterial infection or something like that it can possibly take care of that 